whether you realize it or not, there has been a seismic spiritual shift in the atmosphere. I, 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 I've come to tell somebody God has just destroyed the program. Somebody thought you came to Charles Drew High School. Somebody thought you made your way to 6237 Garden Walk Boulevard, Riverdale, Georgia. No. Your praise and worship shifted the location. You are not just standing now in a building. I want you to hear this. You are standing now under an open heaven. Oh, I wish somebody would have caught that right now. I wish you would have caught it. You, were sure. you, didn't, you just didn't step into a gymnasium. You're, you just didn't step onto school property. When you lifted your voices and worship and praise, you transformed this location into an open heaven. And I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but I believe that there's somebody in here that needs God to pour out something. I don't know what it is, I don't know what your something is, but if you're standing in the need of something, and I need, watch this, Pastor, I don't need a little bit, I need a gully wash. I need God to pour out His Spirit. I need God to fill me, renew me, strengthen me, renovate me, rebuild me. Why now, if I'm talking to you, make your way to this space right here. Yes, 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 yes. God came to fill you up. You're on an open heaven. Whatever you have the faith to request of Him, is available in this atmosphere. Hear what I'm saying. You're not coming to get it from me. So here's the, here's the thing. Don't spend this moment and don't waste your time wondering what I'm going to say next. This is the moment for you to say, Lord, this is what I stand in need of. And Lord, this is what I believe you're able to fulfill. And Lord, I believe you brought me to this place for this time, for this moment, to release what I've always been hoping for, to release what I'm standing in need of. And if I'm talking to anybody that needs God to shower down, lift up your voices and lift up your hands and watch God meet you at the point of your knees. Spirit of the Lord is in this place. Shower down. Come on, come on, come on, come on. God is doing something great on us. Come on, God. Breathe on us. Right now, shower down. Send it. One more time. That's it. Shower down. Yes, yes, it is so. It is so. Come on, can you receive it? Rain on us. Rain on us. Shower down. Shower down. Send your spirit. Spirit of the Lord says, Spirit of the Lord says, a path for you has already been cleared. A way forward has already been made. Whatever you've lost, it shall be restored. God says, watch this now, before the end of this month, God's going to start restoring things that have been taken from you, stolen from you. Watch this now, held up from you. I declare and decree that every obstruction that has stood in your way over the last five years are removed in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree that right now in the name of Jesus, in this atmosphere, that sickness, watch this now, is being cast out of your body. Sadness and depression is being lifted. I thank you right now that new contracts are being signed. New ways are being made. Right now in the name of Jesus, families are being restored. Cases and charges are being dropped. I thank you right now in the name of Jesus that funds that have been held up are going to be released in your hand if you can receive it right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Shout, I receive it. Everything that you stood in need of, 
every petition that you have brought before the Lord, I declare and decree he has released it. And where he didn't answer it just like you thought, he answered it just like you needed it to be. This will be a week of unexpected blessings. Y'all about to hear what I'm saying. Coming from nowhere, coming from the place you never thought possible, God is going to bless you. He's going to deliver you. He's going to heal you. He's going to meet you right where you are. God wants me to tell you, I have heard every prayer. I remembered every petition, and I am dispatching the answer now. It is for your good. It is for your well-being. It is for the saving of your household. Your labor, says the Lord, has not been in vain. I'm bringing divine connections into your path. Be very patient, intentional, and deliberate about the people you come into contact with. Some of you are one phone call away. You're not going to have to make it. The call is coming to you. And in a few minutes, you better hear what I'm saying. In a few minutes, God says that one phone call is going to revolutionize your life, fill every void, answer every question, seal and sign every opportunity that is yours. If I'm talking to somebody that's ready to receive that now, open up your mouth and shout, I receive it in Jesus' name. Wednesday, I got a, a phone call out the blue. Dear friend of mine had purchased, I entered into a contract to purchase a property. And says we we're going to close on the property within 30 days and within the property is a church everything is there it's turnkey you can have church there Sunday if you want to wait, wait, wait. I said really where is it he said, it's 18 minutes from where you are now. I said, but where is it? He says, it's in Atlanta. It's right at the heart of downtown and midtown. I said, but I, I, wasn't, I wasn't looking there. I wasn't looking there. I'm looking over here. I just heard something in the spirit say, go look at it. We looked at it, must confess, fell in love with it. And that ain't the part that just hit me, just hit me while I was here praising God. Some of you may have been watching a Thursday night drive called Make Me Over. And in the background, I have this meme set up, and it has blueprints and plans. Y'all, anybody seen that? Renovate me, make me over. And when I went to the building, he told me it was a church, and they're leaving, and they're moving, and it'll be available. And the name of the church was Renovation Church. So I'm, 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 I'm all over the place in my feelings. What meaneth thou this, Lord? The more I looked at it, the more I was like, man, this is, yeah, yeah, whole floor dedicated to children. Ch 
chairs, monitors, all there. I said, they're going to leave it? Yeah, they're going to leave it. Now, at first I was like, ooh, Lord, I don't know. I talked to him and I said, this is what I'm going to do. It was up to me. I'll go today. But I don't want to make a decision like that without my people. So what we agreed to do, we hadn't signed anything, we hadn't done anything, we hadn't made any decision, nothing in stone. He says, I want my people to go look at it. So Saturday, June 8th, Saturday, June 8th at 11 o'clock, I want as many people who can come meet me and take a look. 128 Ralph McGill Boulevard, just 18 minutes from here, 120. 120 Ralph McGill Boulevard is still new. But it's an opportunity for us, if we all want a cord, to yeah. leave this gym. Ah! <laughs> and step right into something that God has for us, out of the blue. Now, so far everybody I've told were excited. Y'all looking at me like y'all crazy. Anybody tired of these bleachers? Praise God for them, but I'm, yeah, I don't want to sit on them. Look at your fan. Are you hot? They air work in every part of the building. has a parking garage attached to it. Y'all don't want to talk to me. Y'all don't want to talk to me. Shower down. Rain on me. Shower down. What I'm, what, I'm, what I'm trying to tell you is that stuff is going to start happening in your life and you didn't see coming. He's going to open doors that, watch this now, to places you weren't really thinking about. Now, I want to make sure that everybody has input. I don't want to make a decision like this without your input. Hadn't signed anything, hadn't made any kind of agreement. I want you to see it. When you see it, you're going to like it like I did. Just imagine, watch this now. Our Mount Zion campus with a second floor. <laughs> Rooms dedicated to children and youth. Um, just imagine that. Just imagine being right in the heart of the fastest growing part of the city. <laughs> Down the street, the Civic Center has just been purchased and is being turned into a live, work community. And it'll be a walking distance from where we are. So God is sharing with us. I'm, I'm walking you through something and to somewhere. And so I just want you to come to it and see it with open eyes. Come to it and see it with expectation and excitement. Anybody here excited about finding somewhere? Maybe, listen, 18 minutes from here. Amen, amen, amen. So I want to share it with you. I want to see it. And we're going to talk, we're going to walk through it, we're going to talk to one another, and we're going to see uh, what comes of it. But I believe God is about to take this church to a place we couldn't have fathomed. But I want to do it with consensus. I want us to be together. And so I, I, I don't want to make a decision without everybody. I want you to see it. I want you to see it. I want you to feel it. I want you to... Your feedback. We're going to stand around there for a couple of hours and just talk and walk through it. What you think? And I want y'all to be honest. And talk to me. And then we'll say, Lord, lead us where you want us to go. Amen? Amen. But in the spirit of this room, I've come to tell somebody, your answer is going to come from a place you never saw it coming. And here it is. I don't want you to have apprehension about it. I don't want you to be nervous about it. I want you to be excited about the opportunity and the, watch this now, the door that is about to be open. Watch this now. Sometimes your greatest breakthrough is in unfamiliar territory. That's good. Yeah. Uh, and I've come to declare that in this atmosphere, I had something else I was supposed to preach, but. I called Vince, I'm sorry, Mayor Williams, and I told him about it. What, what did you think? 
Well, as I told Pastor, I said, Pastor, I got a couple of meetings, but I am going to make certain that I go by today, which was Friday. And I went by, and it took my breath away. Wow. It took my breath away looking at the surroundings and what I know that God would allow us to do. It would take us back to doing true ministry. We've got to get back to that, folks. I'm not trying to sway your decision at all, but it's time for us to listen to the prophet because when the prophet hears from heaven, we got to move. Amen, amen, amen. Join hands with the person next to you. Now, this is about you. Father, in the name of Jesus, every person who came to this altar in this atmosphere, we, we, we had something else planned or there was something else that I thought was supposed to be said, but Father... You transform this gym into an open heaven. And their desire for your presence has garnered your response. And right now, in the name of Jesus, whatever need that they have stood waiting and praying and interceding on, right now, Father, meet it. Exceed it. Father, let favor fall on them. Let blessings and breakthrough manifest in their lives in ways they have never imagined. Right now in the name of Jesus, give us the courage to accept whatever path you have us on. Open our eyes to see and expect you to do great things. Give us ability to understand that our commitment will be rewarded and sometimes commitment takes us to unfamiliar territories. But Lord, I'd rather be where you wanted me to be than to be where I thought I wanted to be. Lord, wherever your tent, wherever your cloud is, wherever the pillar of fire is, that's where we'll pitch our tent. Because wherever you are, that's where we want to be. Give us the ability, Lord God, to see beyond our natural eye, to see beyond convenience and to see the opportunity people we can touch, people we can reach. Being in the center of metropolitan Atlanta where all roads can converge and we can be a beacon of light. Lord, help us see what you're trying to show us. Give us the courage and the ability to seize the blessing and the breakthrough that you want to relieve and reveal to us. We thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. All in agreement with that prayer. Shout amen. 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 Somebody give God some praise. Look at your neighbor and say, we might have found a home. We might we, we real close. Look at somebody and say, we might be close. We might be close. Now listen, listen. By a show of hands, who says, who says on June 8th, I'm going to come look. I'm just going to come look. I'm come. All right. So between now and next week, I'll give you instructions on where to go, how to get there. But you can peek at it. You can peek and dream. 120 Ralph McGill Boulevard. You can look up Renovation Church. You'll see pictures in it. Uh, see what it looks like from the inside. They're leaving, and that's where we may be. Amen? Amen. Amen. Go back to your seats. Listen. Back to your seats and remain standing. Remain standing. Remain standing. I hear the Lord, and uh, I was going to preach a sermon, but I don't think I need to preach a sermon right now. I already preach. I guess I already preach. I, I'll keep that one in my pocket. That's all right. I want you to leave this place with an understanding that something amazing is about to happen. How many of you remember last Sunday I said, I, if you just quiet yourself, yeah. God's going to speak to you. I got that call. I was in my office, quiet, minding my own business. And something came. Now I want, I want to let you know I haven't committed to anything, I haven't signed anything, because I said, you know what? I really want the feedback of the people. I want your input. I want you to tell. We we follow God. He leads us through His prophetic voices. We understand that order. But I don't want to be presumptuous enough not to get your input. I'm excited. I believe once you see it, you'll be like, yeah, Pastor, let's 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 make this happen. Let's make this happen. Let's make this happen. And, and so we're going to trust him right now in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Somebody shout, it's offering time. It's offering time. Amen, amen. Now, I, I don't know. I'm messing up a program. I guess I'm going to turn this over to 
Shay or somebody. Okay. God bless you. <laughs> He's in the spirit. He can be in the spirit. God bless you. <laughs> Come on, y'all, sit down. God bless you. Come down. Come, 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 come down. All right, all right. God bless you. Well, what a day. The day before what? Somebody's birthday. <laughs> somebody's birthday and somebody that we love dearly. Our pastor, our overseer, the man who labors before the Lord for all of us. Pastor Andre Landers. Happy birthday. All right. Come on. Happy birthday. God, we thank you. We thank you. Y'all can do better than that. Y'all can do better than that. God is good. And we thank God for being so good because he gave us you, sir. 25 years old. Wow. Power. All right. Praise God. But Pastor, we love you and we're going to take time. Right now, I want to uh, bring up the seasoned saints. I think they have something very special. You know, seasoned saints don't play. <laughs> so who, who, who's representing the seasoned saints? All right. Bring, get your napkins out. Right? <laughs> Come on up. Sister Lydia Walker. I promise you I'm not going to cry. But, Pastor, on behalf of the Season Saints, Dorothy is supposed to present, but she's ill today, so please, please keep her in prayer. But a little bird, I'm not going to tell you their name, maybe Kiki, <laughs> gave us an idea of something that we know that you would love. So the Season Saints came out in a big way, and... We decided to give you something to a favorite place that you like. And we hope you like it. What's the name of it, Kiki? Mes Meslin. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we wanted to present these. Well, we have two cards from the Season Saints, and one of them has your gift card in it. And the other people, uh, there were some people who were not able to uh, be and participate at that time, so they gave separate cards. But we hope that you have a very good birthday. And you were talking about everybody was quiet in here when you were making the announcements. Because everybody was shocked. We were happy. We were excited. So don't think that we're not. We're very right. excited. So we're very excited. So <laughs> we were just, everybody was shocked. <laughs> you know we love it. Yes, yes, you know. We, I know him. He get quiet like, they don't like what I'm saying. We love what you were saying. But, yeah, tell them again, lady. We want to present this to you on behalf of all of the seasoned saints. We hope that you enjoy it. And, lady, if there's something there that you can buy, go for it, girl. Oh, shoot. Well, anyway, we love you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Okay. We, couldn't, we were trying to get Stevie Wonder to get here today, but... We, you just hold on, though. We got to buckle your seatbelts. I think we have the deacons here that have something they want to share as well. And you know the deacons don't play. The deacons got deep pockets. <laughs> Come on up, sir. I've not been out and about from the back room in a while, but... I decided on a day like today is a special day for me. And on behalf of the deacons, we give you this card, Pastor. We also, the deacons and the wives, got the two chairs for you. Amen. And uh, we hope you appreciate those. Those are our chairs for that? Yeah. Those are your chairs. 
Oh, yeah. You actually can take them home if you want. <laughs> oh, they got deep pockets. <laughs> Real deep pockets. We can go first lady one. Yes. But we, we do appreciate you, Pastor. We love you. And, you know, we, we're all, according to Ephesians 2 and 10, we are his workmanship. And what a heck of a workmanship you are. Thank you, Thank you, sir. God bless you. Right now, yes. You got somebody else? Okay. The ushers. The people who tell you where you're going to sit. <laughs> Come on, sweetie. God bless you. Where you go? There he oh, is. Is. He said, where you go? <laughs> Pastor, on behalf of the usher ministry. Put us on the table. Pastor, you are right. Uh, on, on, behalf, on behalf of the usher minister, we'd like to give you a token of our appreciation for all the love that we have for you and that you have for us. Thank you very much. All right. All right. Is there any other special presentation? Hello. Okay. The greeters. I love all of y'all, but you know, I, I, I'm a man of order, and, and I requested that everybody get the information to me about who was coming. We're not turning nobody down, but if you're here and you're going to give, let me know it. Come on in. <laughs> Pastor Landers, on behalf of the I Thrive Greeters, we love you first of all, first and foremost. I want to present this to you and I want you to look at the words in this because it's so fitting to who you are and who you represent to us and this church and we're so grateful for you <laughs> praise God all right is there anyone else let them come now or forever hold your peace okay all right. good morning God thrive Okay, so yes, I was a little birdie. So because I was a little birdie, I knew what the birdie delivered. So us, on behalf of the staff, we added to it. So now you got a big gift. So happy birthday. Come on, y'all. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. to wish our pastor, Overseer Andre Landers, a happy 55th birthday. We love you and thank God for your life and your commitment to us as a family. Happy birthday, Overseer Andre Landers. Have a wonderful time and we love you. Yes, we love you and we appreciate everything you do for us. Stay weird. <laughs> Hootie Who Overseer, happy 55th birthday to you. It is such an honor for me to be able to celebrate you on this 55th year of life. I wish you nothing but abundance of blessings and prosperity from here on out. God bless you and I love you. Happy birthday. 
Hey, hey, Overseer, happy 55th birthday to you. You already know how I feel about you. You are an amazing father figure, spiritual leader, pastor covering, all the above. And I was just thinking the other day, I'm like, wow, I've been with this man going on almost 10 years. And I can truly say that every single year I've become a better man and it's all because of you. My life would never be the same because your life is here and you matter. We love you, I love you, the church loves you. And uh, just turn up, you know we're gonna turn up. Happy birthday. I just want to give a shout out to Pastor Landers. Happy birthday. God bless you and many, many more. We had so much fun coming here. God bless you and your family. Just want to give a big shout out to Pastor Landers on your birthday. Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, Pastor Landers. Hi, Pastor Landers. I wanted to wish you a very, very happy birthday and say the best is yet to come. Uh, you'll join us at a season, Saints, and we love you. Happy birthday. 